Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 95 on your old PC which is right here. For this purpose you'll require one floppy disk which is going to be the Windows 95 boot disk. Here is a blank one and you'll need one CD or DVD whatever. I'm gonna use this unrewritable CD for this tutorial, which we're gonna burn the Windows 95 image to, and here we're gonna burn the floppy image. We we'll also need IMG burn to burn the ISO to the CD and raw write win to make the boot disk. And without further ado, let's go. Alright, so here we are, and let's start installing Windows 95. Yeah, I'm just using the Target PC, which is from 2003, and this is the only PC that has a floppy drive and a CD drive. But we don't care about that. We're interested to get Windows 95 working. The first thing we want to do is just put in our floppy disk which we're gonna, is going to be the boot disk which is this image right here and let's do that once we put the floppy disk in we are going to run raw write win this is just an executable here we go we have here like floppy drive which is drive a right read about Support. We're gonna write an image in here, which let's choose it in, in the, my desktop. In my desktop. And we're gonna find one in here. It is. We're gonna open, and we want just one copy, and we're just gonna click on write. Now it starts writing. Here is the percentage. Can you hear the floppy disk from there? Alright, so once you are done with making the boot disk, now it's time to make the image, to burn the image on a CD. So let's take out the CD and put it in. Now open IMG Burn. This is a rewritable DVD, by the way. It doesn't matter if it's the usual rewritable DVD, every, like whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now what we want to do is write image file to disk. And now I'm gonna select file. I want to go to my desktop. And find here we go. All right, so we're gonna boot from I don't want to just run F this. I'm just going to delete the partitions in here. We have deleted the partition. Now we're going to just create partition. I guess we want to create a primary DOS partition. I'm just going to verify the drive integrity. Now choose if you want to use the maximum available size. I'm not going to do that because I want to manually create one and I'm going to choose N. And then it's going to verify the drive integrity once more. I'm going to choose my size. I'm going to choose 2 gigabytes or 2048 megabytes. Once that is created, I'm going to set an active partition to the yes and then we're gonna reboot our system Now we're booting again. Now 
Now I'm gonna just type in format C. C. Y. Now it's gonna format our two gigabyte partition that I cr we created. And here we go, we're just formatting it. We just have to wait till the format completes. I'm now click on enter. And now what we wanna do is go to the C drive and now that MKDIR win 95. And we created a folder because we because after the first boot Windows 95 won't utilize the CD ROM that's in the computer and um, it's, it won't copy, it can't copy the file so we need to copy them over to the C drive and we're gonna go to the R drive dir slash w and we're gonna copy this folder over to the C drive and now to do that we're gonna type in copy r slash win 95 start dot star c win 95 now it's gonna copy all the files from the win 95 folder to the win 95 folder to the c drive all right so once it copies all the files over to the c drive now we since open the object and just type in setup now press enter now just gonna run scan this and here we are at the setup now I will click on continue I'm just gonna our setup wizard. Now we're gonna agree to the license terms. Now click on next. We want to install it to see Windows. Click on next. Now we want to choose all these options that we need. It choose all in all any do you prefer, and then click on next. We want to type in our product key. Now we're gonna type in a name. I'm gonna just and click on next and I'm, I don't think that I have a network adapter or any of these in my computer I mean in my target computer and just click on next now it's gonna analyze the computer to check what kind of hardware is in our computer and this may take some time and the system just locks up just turn it off and then run the setup again that's what it says over here. And now we'll just have to wait. Now we want to choose these two options. We can install the most common component, which is recommended, or we can just show a list of the components. I'm gonna, I want to install everything and, and click on next. I'm just gonna install all of these here okay the details okay and now click on next I'm gonna type in a computer name I'm gonna type in what XP but with 95 and we must type in a word group and the computer description is gonna be like the windows PC but with windows 85 Once you choose all of these, click on next. I'm gonna choose if you want a startup disk or not. And choose one of these that you want and then click on next. And now it's gonna be copying files. So 
so let's just sit back now while this copies the files. Oh, right now we wanna just eject this in the disk. And then we need to click on finish. Ejected them, now click on OK. And now this is going to reboot our system. Now it's going to get ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. error message that means that the CPU is actually too fast to do that take CE and we want to burn the fix 95 CPU on the CD once you have burned the CD with the CPU fix now put it in the computer and force reboot the system ISO, which is great. Don't worry, I'll provide links for everything used in the description. Now, pressing the key to continue. Now, I'm not going to read, read me files, I'm just pressing the key to continue. This is going to patch the system files. Once done, that's great. Now eject the CD. Now here's the CD. I'm gonna leave it over here and force reboot the system again. Now I'm gonna choose normal. Now it's gonna go without any issues. Now put in your username. I'm not gonna put any password in here. Now it's going to detect our plug and play devices. And we don't have to insert the CD ROM anymore because we copied the Win95 folder over to the computer's hard drive. And now we don't need to insert it. Now just click on OK. Instead of R195, change that to C. And now it's going to copy the files without any issues. Now we're just going to finish this, and we're pretty much almost done. We're going to choose our time zone. I'm gonna cancel this. Save for the printer, and I'm, it's, I'm going to reboot the system. This just turned off the system. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm going to turn it on, and now we should be able to get into the Windows 95 desktop without any errors. Now this is going to update our file. This is done, and yeah, plug and play devices. And here we are at the Windows 95 desktop. If you are on the desktop, then congrats. Then congrats. And we have now successfully installed Windows 95. Let me open up Winver here. And here we go, Windows 95. Copyright 1981 to 1985, Microsoft Corporation. Yeah. And this is pretty much it yeah that was all for today's video if this helped you make sure you have liked this video subscribe and turn on the notifications and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye